When it comes to flipping houses, one of the best strategies for making a lot of money really quickly is what we call fix and flip. And today on this video, we're gonna talk about exactly how much money can you make fixing and flipping houses. Okay, Jerry Norton, welcome back for another video here on the Real Estate Freedom TV channel where we talk all about how to master real estate investing so that you can live your dream life. And on this video here, we're gonna be focusing on how much money you can actually make fixing and flipping houses. And keep in mind, fix and flip is that strategy known as buying a property, putting some repair money into it, fixing it up, right, to some level, either light all the way up to heavy, uh, and then reselling it to a homeowner on the open market and making a profit. So this is a short-term strategy. We're not gonna hold it long-term. We're not trying to make money on appreciation or cash flow. It's get in, fix it up, maximize our profits, make as much as we can, sell it, and move on to another deal. That's known as fix and flip. It's a short-term strategy, and I love fix and flip. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to fixing and flipping houses, we follow a specific formula. Now, if you follow my proven formula, then what happens is, is you're building into the deal your profit. And the profit that we build in is a percentage of the sale price. Okay, so it's a percentage of the sale price. So every deal that we do, we wanna make a certain percentage of whatever we sell it for as our profit. We wanna build that right into the deal up front in the very beginning. That's the key to this. So what we do is we follow what I call the fix and flip buy formula. And what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of walk it through. Um, I've done other videos where I talk all about the formula. You can watch those videos. This falls into our analyzing deals, right? How do we determine the numbers, crunch the numbers, and figure out what our profit is, how much it's gonna cost us, all of those things, and what do I need to buy it for? So when we look at this buy formula, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take what we call ARV. ARV is an acronym for after repair value. So it's after repair value, ARV. And what this means is it simply means what is the property worth once it's fixed up? Not what it's currently worth because it's currently distressed, right? What's it worth once I fix it up? Because once I fix it up, I'm gonna sell it. And I wanna know what I'll be able to sell it for once it's fixed up. So that's our ARV. So what's that number? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna subtract out 30% right off the top, right? So the way that we do that with basic math is we take ARV times 0.7. And if you remember, you know, third or fourth grade math, when you take, when you multiply it by 0.7, you're essentially taking 30% off the top. Now, what is the 30% cover? What is the 30% cover? It covers our closing cost, our carrying cost and our profit and our profit, right? Closing costs, carrying costs and our profit. So closing cost is about 9%, carrying cost is about 6% and our profit is about 15%. Okay, so we're gonna factor these three things into our formula by taking it off the top. Closing costs is our cost for commissions, prorated taxes, um, title insurance, all of the fees that we have to pay when we buy and sell. Because we're gonna buy it, fix it up, then we're gonna sell it. Every time we buy and sell, we have to pay fees. Closing fees to the title company, all of that. That average is about 9% of the ARV. Okay, and I've done this a thousand times and it usually comes in right around there. Carrying costs is our cost of capital that we did to do the deal. Remember, it takes money to buy it, it takes money to fix it up. So that total capital to do the deal, we're gonna to have to pay for that capital, right? There's a cost of that money. And that cost of that money is 6%. Unless you sell fund and use your own cash and you don't have a cost of capital, but in most cases, we're gonna use private money, we're gonna use what's called hard money, we're gonna use other people's money to fund our deals. And we'll talk all about that and I'll teach you how to do that, but that cost of money, we call that carrying cost, the cost to carry financing, and that average is usually about 6% of the sale price of our ARV. And then the most important thing is our profit, right? Our profit. And our profit on this deal, on typical deals, if we're following the 70% formula, 
is about 15% of the ARV we want to factor into the deal for our profit. So we're going to take this right off the top. Once we've taken the 30% off the top by multiplying by 0.7, the next thing we have to do is subtract out our repairs. Now this is a variable. This is a fixed thing because we kind of factor these three things in. But this is a variable because every property is going to be a different repair number because every property is different, what it needs to be fixed up. So we put a number in for that for our repairs and then we subtract that out and that equals our buy price. Okay, that equals our buy price. So let's run a, a situation here to kind of illustrate this. And hopefully you can see the screen up here. But let's say that our ARV is 200,000, right? ARV is 200,000. We're gonna multiply that by 0 0.7. We're gonna multiply that by 0 0.7, okay? And then we're gonna sub subtract out our repairs. And let's say that our repairs are 30,000. Okay, so let's do the math here and that equals our buy. So 200,000 times 0 0.7 equals 140,000. Right, so we're taking 60,000 right off the top. That's 30% right off the top of 200,000. That takes us down to 140. And then we're gonna subtract out our repair cost of 30,000, right? So 140 minus 30 equals 110, 110,000. So if I were to buy this deal that's worth 200 fixed up, it's not worth 200 right now, but it's worth 200,000 fixed up, Right, it's worth 200,000 fixed up and I can get it right now for 110 and it needs 30,000 in work, then, and I factor in 9% for closing, 6% for carrying and 15% for profit, then that would be a good deal because now I'm gonna make a 15% profit. So that means on this particular deal, we would make a profit of $30,000, okay? $30,000, because that's 15% of our ARV of 200,000. So let's say that we could pick this deal up for 110,000. We put 30,000 into it. Let's say that that takes us uh, 60 days to do that, to, to do those repairs and fix that house up, put it back on the market, sell that property. Maybe the total turnaround is four months, five months, maybe six months, but we make $30,000 net profit after everything. Closing costs, carrying costs, cost to rehab it, cost to buy it, all of it and we make a $30,000 profit. That's fix and flip. That's, what's, that's how much money you can make. So I want you to think about this. If I'm following this formula, this 70% formula here, and when, when people say, how much money can you make fix and flipping? Well, let's think about the formula. If we follow this formula, we should make 15%. So let's say that we sell the property, let's say the ARV on a property is 400,000. Then 15% of that would equal $60,000 right? Because that's our profit, 15% built into the formula. Let's say that your ARV is 300,000 on a deal. Well, 15% of 300,000 for your profit would be $45,000 is what you'd make on that deal. Again, it's a percentage of the formula. It's a percentage of what we sell the house for. So 45,000 would be your profit on a $300,000 deal. Pretty sweet, right? Make $45,000 net profit on a house that you sell for 300,000. Well, what if it was, what if it was 600,000? Well, again, 600,000, if we're following our formula, 15% of 600,000 is how much? 90,000, right? Make a $90,000 profit. So I hope you see a trend here, right? Uh, the bigger the deal, the more money you make because you're selling it for higher and it should be that way. It should be a percentage of the sale price because the bigger the deal you do, the more profit you should make. So one of the mistakes a lot of people make is they focus on low end deals, low margin deals, like in the 100,000 price point. Whereas if you flip a house that sells for 600,000, you make a $90,000 profit. Isn't that awesome? So I love focusing on kind of the 400 to 600 price point because you make some really good profits. As Soon as you start to get over 600, you start to make six figures on one deal. How exciting is that? The point here, guys, is in a relatively short period of time, four, five, six, maybe eight, nine months, you can make a lot of money in this business if you do it right. If you understand your ARV, what it'll sell for, you understand how much your repairs are gonna cost, you run the formula and you buy right. With your built-in profit, your built-in closing and carrying costs, 
This is how you really excel at this business. This is how you really make money flipping houses, doing fix and flip. And so I'm excited for you to learn how to do that. And, uh, and be sure to watch more videos like this one. I'm always putting out videos where I'm teaching exactly how to do this. I've got an entire playlist in the channel which talks all about how to analyze, use, these, use this formula to analyze deals. Really helpful. But if you're looking to make a lot of money in a short period of time, fix and flip can be the right strategy for you. If you're willing to raise the money for funding, manage contractors, get out there and get good deals, make offers, and, and do this process here, follow the formula, then how much you can make is totally up to you. How many deals can you do in a year? You can easily make a six-figure living doing this business if you follow the right steps. Jerry Norton, and I'll see you on the next video.